All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we just started our podcast, and I did not really share that I am on air with many. So please uh, post a uh, YouTube link with your friends and Facebook, etc., so people will know that we are live on air. Uh, today, our topic is simple. Is about uh, usually as Muslims they try to come to us with in their intelligence and today the smart one is going to be uh, under our microscope is going to be Shabir Ali now Shabir Ali the Muslim they think is a big shot and this guy he is uh, not only he know nothing about Islam he do not know even how to recite his Quran uh, he is a copy paste person and he is I'm not going to say he's afraid from debating me he's terrified uh, uh, those Muslims they always try to play the game of I know as an example I know your book uh, I can explain to you your book but he cannot even explain to us his book you know Islam is for me have many images like the image that we see in front of us like a, a pretty building and uh, you know when you see it it looks nice I mean you know but when you go inside this is exactly how a dark grave look from inside it doesn't matter how much and how you know how much money you spend in your grave it doesn't ma matter how much uh, what kind of marble you put there what kind of uh, expensive stones you 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 know your names is written in it it doesn't matter it's a grave and if you are a rich man or a poor man the grave is a grave and this is exactly what Islam is about they try to decorate Islam from outside but it is a grave it is death and this is a very uh, ugly death because if you are a believer you believe in the resurrection and you will live again your death is such a sta stage but those Muslims their death is is, is different Today we will see an article written by uh, Shabir Ali and we will love to gather about this the intelligence of this man or the intelligence Please don't forget to invite your friends uh, And tell them that we are live on air and For sure if there is any especially in Shabir Ali, but he will never dare to call me um, He can call if he ever there if that's impossible uh, Shabir Ali, he made an article, and let me show you the article here. By Imam Shabir Ali, the funny he called himself Imam. I mean, Imam of what? Imam is a leader, you know. And are you a leader, Shabir Ali? Do you really consider yourself a leader? Leader of what? Let us see. It will be quickly obvious that often referred to him which means Jesus as a servant of God but never son of God never son of God <laughs> guys look how stupid this idiot is I don't like to use the word stupid in the Bible there is nowhere Jesus was called the son of God Do we have any Muslim here in town? Do we have any Muslim in town? So Jesus in the Bible never. Guys, do you see the word never or I am seeing something wrong here? That is never. I mean, I don't think Shabir Ali, his English is that bad. I mean, he said the word never, and we know what the word never mean. Why Shabir Ali? He is saying such a word that he was called never the son of God. Because you see here it says, it will be quickly obvious that they often, often, they who? he's talking about who he's talking about the apostle of Jesus they often call him servant of God but never son of God is that a true Muslims is that true 
that Jesus was called never called the Son of God why you Muslims don't call Shabir Ali and tell him are you stupid or what Christians are making fun of you and because of you they are making fun of us any Muslim here have an explanation why you're uh, the one you call him leader which is not he is lying I can give tons of verses right now right here as we speak speaking about Jesus the Son of God in the Bible any Abdul I cannot find any excuse for someone he claimed that he have a PhD in comparative religion to make such a stupid claim you do not need to be a genius to find you can go right now to Google type two words where Jesus was called the Son of God and you will find a long list Hmm? so this is a big fat lie you know we can go from the first verses in the Bible speaking of his Jesus like if you go in the book of John right away you will say he is the Word of God and he is God in flesh the Word of God became a man chapter John chapter 1 verse number 1 and then verse number 14 says who is this man who became the Word of God became him now, if we go in the Bible, we will see that in in in, uh, in John one forty nine, uh, you know, he was called the Son of God. Uh, uh, in uh, John the Baptist, prophet uh, for the Muslims, they believe John the Baptist is a Muslim prophet. They call him Yahya. You know, uh, if you go to John one uh, thirty four, John the Baptist, he said, "I have uh, uh, both seen and tes uh, testified." That this man is the chosen one of God. Okay. Now, who is the chosen one of God? Let us see. Uh, if you go to John 11 27, it says, She replied, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who came to the world. Now, uh, did Jesus say, Don't call me that? Muslims. When, when the people, they call him the Son of God, did Jesus say, don't call me the Son of God? No. So why you lie? Never they refer to him as the Son of God. And not only they call him Son of God, if we go to John 10, verse number 36, Jesus said, do you say, uh, like, do you say about me, the one whom the Father, you know, set apart, etc.? And then he says, because are you accusing me of blaspheming because I said I am the son of God are you accusing me what is the accusation Jesus said because I said I am the son of God so never Jesus was referred to as a son of God The deception of Muslims is beyond imagination. Why the Muslims, none of them says to him, how you say such a thing when there is tons of verses in the Bible saying that. Huh? Why nobody says to him this is this is stupid? I mean, and why Muslims even publish in his article if his article is stupid? Let me show you something. This is the this is the translation of the Bible. I will show you all translations. And remember, the Muslims they say to us, Oh, your Bible have many versions of it. Abdul, this is a translation, this is not versions, those are translations, the same as you have a translation by Mahsan Khan. Etc. This is a, not a new Bible. Any translation is not accurate and fit with the original. 
it is rejected so it is a translation however this is all the translations in the front of you you will see that Jesus saying that how can you how then can you accuse me of blasphemy for stating that I am the son of God so not only the apostle of Jesus they call him the son of God he called himself many times that he is the son of God why Shabir Ali is lying What do you want? So are you telling me that the apostle of Jesus, they call him the son of God? Oh, sorry, they did not call him the son of God, but Jesus, he called himself the son of God and they are not aware of that? The stupidity of the Muslims sometimes is beyond imagination. Now we continue here. We got him busted with the first one. We can get him busted. We can show tons of verses. There is in this, you can go right now. I do not need to teach you. You can go right now and search. How many verses they mention that Jesus is the Son of God, and how many times his apostles they call him with such a name? And the Jews even call him that because they they you know they they try to attack him for he said, I am God's son. You can go to Matthew 27, verse number 43, as an example. But look, the deception of uh, uh, Mr. Shabir Ali does not stop with saying that. They never called him a son of God, which is a big fat lie. We got him busted. He said that in the Bible it says that God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of our father, has glorified his servant, Jesus. So he's saying to you, well, see, they are calling him servant. How? Hold on. Did you see the word glorified? God glorifying the servant. What kind of servant that is which God glorify? And what the word servant mean? You see, who is the one who provide me with my food? The one I ate today or yesterday. I did not eat yet. It's God. He served me my food. Who is the one who provide me the light so I can see? You pay every day a bill for electric I don't know electric company to serve you and provide you electricity God he give it to you for free he's serving us but this kind of service is the service of the Almighty you see when Jesus he healed the blind did he take a charge from the blind man or he was serving the blind man amazing servant how many of you sick Muslims who have cancers have diseases you wish to meet a servant who can heal you from your cancer and who can heal you God the service is coming from who the service of healing is coming from who from God that is Jesus so Jesus he is a servant of God for he is the man in earth but yet he is God he does what God does so the liar he tried to quote for you from the Bible that they call him the servant but he forgot that the whole Bible is speaking about Jesus as my Lord my God my Savior my master my rabbi all those names are not exist and I have a question to the the Abdul with the beard in the Quran We find this word in Arabic. It says here in this chapter, chapter 3, verse number 45, that he is the Messiah. He is the word from God. And his name is the Messiah. Okay, let us analyze this. He is the word of God and his name is Al Masih. What Al Masih mean? Is that a job? Is that a description? Is that a paint? Is that about age? It's about what? Why Jesus was called Al Masih? You see, there is many names in Islam. Anyone can use. You can call yourself Muhammad. You can. 
There is millions, hundreds of millions of Muslims. Their name is Muhammad. You can call yourself Isa. You can, but not single Muslim dare to call himself Al Masih. If he does, he will be executed immediately. Why? Why is that? Any Muslim can answer. What is making the name of Christ, which is a Messiah, hmm, forbidden to anyone to use it? What is special about it? Because when you say this name, nobody should use it. It's mean this name have to do something special. When you say that if somebody he call himself a Messiah, he should be killed. That's mean he is a claim in something. That is not just a name. So why only one person in the whole Muslim world? There's 1.5 Muslim, a billion Muslim as the Muslims count themselves and they lie about the numbers as always. But yet we cannot find one of them. He called himself a Messiah. Question why? Any Muslim knows why? We will go and see what the Muslim says about the name of the Messiah. This is a Muslim website. Let us read together. As you see, this is not my website. This is a Muslim website. And here we will read the question and the answer. Assalamu alaikum. What is the mean of Messiah? Between two bracket Messiah in the Holy Quran. Two. Who was uh, crucified instead of Isa B B U H? Okay. All perfect prizes be to Allah, the Lord of the world. Okay, no problem. The word the word Messiah in the Quran referred to Isa, Jesus, and the scholars stated many reasons for him being named the Messiah as the Messiah, as you see with me. I hope the text is clear for you. It was said. That he was named the Messiah because his feet were flat. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy! You know, is that the happy is that the happy feet movie? So Muslims, you are saying to me that your God called Isa. Al Masih, because he noticed that he have uh, flat feet. You Muslims, since when you take hashish? Be honest. How how much involved you are in the hashish? Actually, the word hashish is coming from the Middle East. We know that. Read carefully with me. It was said that he was named the Messiah. The Muslims are guessing. The Muslims are guessing it was said, but who said that didn't know. And then they put here the arsh of which is a flattened, the arsh, what is a flattened, the arsh, which means the throne of Allah, so that the entire soul rests upon the ground. What anyone understand anything? And he must there can explain to us what what is that? The chair which was flattened, so the entire soul rests upon the ground. What? Let it go. It was also said the Muslims are guessing. The Muslims, you see, and the funny the Quran says that this is a book we made it explained in details. So now the Muslim is trying. It was also said. Who said that? They don't know. What do you mean? It's also said. Who? Like who? Who? Shabir Ali. It's also said that he was named so because he came out of his mother wombs anointed with oil. If, 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 if. Hold on, hold on. This guy, Al Masih, he was born and he was covered by oil. Aha. Mary, she don't have a liquid inside her, you know, she have oil. Okay. And who is the one who said it was also said? Nobody knows. It was also said, are we continuing? Like, are we going to play the game it was also said? 
it was also said that he was named the Messiah because whenever he whips over a person with this ability the person become cured if they are getting closer but not exactly so the Messiah wherever he wipe his hand or something over somebody he is sick the person he recover huh hello so you just told me that anyone the Messiah he wipe his hand over him automatically he get healed it doesn't matter what the disease and remember it was also said which means they are not even sure yet let us continue and it was said that the Messiah means a Sadiq which means the truthful one what as regard the man who was Allah gave in the, in, uh, in the future of Isa or the future of Isa you see now that supposedly the Muslim answer this is the Muslim answer this is the Muslim fatwa website the guy he asked what the word al-messiah mean they gave him a bunch of answers none of them is mean anything it's also said it was also said it was also said until now we did not reach to know what the word Messiah mean because all what you told me it was also said where is the answer Muslims what's wrong with you where is the answer so you have word in your book but none of the Muslims 1.5 shish kebab falafel billion None of them knows what the word al Messiah mean, which is the name of Christ. Christ, why? Why you Muslims do not know? Is it really hard and difficult to know what the word mean? Why it was also said, and why your prophet did not tell you what the word Messiah say mean? Any Muslim can tell us. <laughs> Any Abdul? Any Abdul is in the bushes. Why you do not know? I will tell you why. Because Muhammad is just a thief. He heard that word from the Jews, from the Christians, and he do not know what it does mean. He took it, he threw it there. What Isa mean? Anyone can tell me what even Isa mean? They don't know. What Adam mean? They don't know. What Abraham mean? They don't know. What Moses mean? mean? They don't know. They don't know. What Jibreel mean? They don't know. What Israel mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? What Israfil mean? What Ishmael mean? They don't know. Why? The answer is very simple. They are thieves. They have no idea what those names mean. They don't know. They don't know about what is written in their book, but yet they can explain to us our book. Can Shabir Ali tell us what Al Masih mean based in authentic strong reference? Can he tell us what Ishmael mean based on authentic reference coming from his prophet? What Abraham mean? What Adam mean? We don't know. What Allah even mean? They don't know. 
You see, I'm asking this question since I was a kid. What the word Allah mean? Not a single Muslim know. They start guessing. They say to you, the Almighty. Look what Almighty. What the word mean, Abdul? What Almighty? Allah have 99 names, and one of them is the Almighty already. Okay. Now, this is a different name. That is a title. Allah is a name. The rest are, you know, attribute. What the word Allah mean? You don't know. You don't know because it's a story in word from other nation. What Baal mean? They don't know. What shahar mean? Shahar. You see the Muslim translation, they say to you, shahar mean month. That's stupid. Shahar mean moon. Didn't know. Muslims have no idea what Islam is about. And a very simple question, they are in trouble. So this is why you see it was also said, it was also said, it was also said. I mean, what kind of religion? It's based on it's also said. So now this Muslim who came to the, the scholars, remember here, he came to the scholars to ask the scholars. And the scholars, they give him the answer. This is the answer. The answer, I have a fatwa, official a fatwa number. Look, fatwa number 118919. It's like you're getting your social security here. Mean of the Messiah, Messiah. Where is the meaning? So after all this writing from the scholars, this guy who wrote the question for you, did he get the answer? No. Because what you gave him, it was also said. Any Muslim can explain to us why the stupidity and the ignorance of Islam is significant. It's beyond imagination. If the scholars they are saying to us it was said, what about the naive one? If the one with the long beard and their beard is longer than my carpet, they say it was said, which means they don't know even who said that. It's just a bunch of opinions of a bunch of idiots. Who is who is the one who will give us an answer? And how you speak of a person, you don't know even his name meaning, what it is. Do you think God, he gave this man, you Muslims, you call him a man, right? He gave him a name for no reason? For sure there's a reason. Do you think that you Muslims are not allowed to call your sons Al-Masih? Otherwise you will be killed according to Islam for no reason? Why? If if the word mean the one uh, you know, I mean it's a, just a title for anything like a flat feet, flat feet. Jesus have a flat feet. <laughs> what is the size of his shoe? So someone like Shabir Ali, he have time to explain to us that Jesus was called servant and he never been called son of God, which is a big fat lie. And we showed you how liar he is. But he don't have time to tell us what Al-Masih mean, what Ishmael mean, what Abraham mean, what Allah mean. See, Jesus, was called many names and none of them is a name every word in the Bible is a description it is not a name like if you go and read the names of Adam and the sons of Adam all the way to Noah you will find even those names. There's a video. It's called uh, "Secret Messages" in Genesis five, in YouTube. You can you can watch it, and you will see how the names in the Bible, all of them, they refer to a code. There's no names. They are messages. And the name of the Messiah is not a name. It's a message. So. If we go in the Bible, we will see that the word Jesus, it's not just a word. 
it's not just a name it is a description for a job is going to be done the same as the Messiah the same as Adam the same as Abraham the same as Ishmael the same as Moses this all of them it is for something happened or present something will happen but the liars they always dive with their lies and as you see they show right away the disability of the fake religion if Islam is an authentic religion Islam should come with answer for a very simple thing what the word the Isa mean what the word Allah mean what the word Al Masih mean Ishmael Moses Abraham but they don't know for Islam is a fabricated counterfeit product you know what counterfeit product right it's a stolen it's a copy it's false and now the question continue just to show you the madness of the Abdul as regards for the man who Allah gave the feature of Jesus of Isa feature what is that the feature are you sure he gave him the feature he mean he gave him the look and who was crucified by the Jews it was said again hello I mean what kind of this uh, this is the scholars it was said everything in this religion about let us guess it was said it was said it was said that it was the Jewish Titanus who entered the house where Isa Jesus was when he came out Allah gave him the feature of Isa and he was killed and it was also said that it was the guard who was serving the place where Isa was imprisoned? Isa was imprisoned. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so Isa now is imprisoned, and Allah He made the guard look like him, but the guard is outside, and Jesus is inside. Okay. Are you saying to me that Allah he exchanged the look of Jesus with the God which means Jesus became look like the God wearing a Romanian hat and a sword of the Romanian and his name became Antonio and look here other things were also said about him which means we don't know I mean get lost Excuse my language. Get lost. I mean, what this question for? I can't answer you. And look, it says, for more benefit, please refer to the fatwa 87468, etc. And Allah knows best. If we go to those fatwas, are we going to find the answer? No. Let us give it a try. Here we go. Did he say go and refer? Did this guy just say go and refer to, etc.? We are going to go and refer, and you will see still there's no answer. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Please explain to me verse number four, verse 157, 158. I want to give answers to those who believe that Jesus died. Okay. Answer. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. All the shish kebab in the beginning. We do not need to read it. No, he says. The exalted says that respond to those who claim that they killed, they have killed the Messiah. And now he read the verse. We will not read it. You can read it. You take your time. I want the explanation. The word, the verse was an evidence that Allah, the Most High, took him up alive and saved him from being killed. I mean, guys, have you ever heard of an evidence like this? Someone came 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never know Jesus. He never speak the language of Jesus He never saw anyone from the Apostle of Jesus, but he brought to us a statement saying that God told him That Jesus was not killed and that is called the evidence Hello 
have you have ever heard of such an evidence that is the evidence one man story I mean that's an amazing evidence and then he continue Ibn al-Qayyim report in etc the book that Allah has raised Isa to him to heaven in other verse Allah says we can read the verse I'm not going to read it chapter 3 verse number 55 Ibn Taymiyyah said <coughs> in respond to those who claim that he had killed they had killed him this is an evidence that Allah did not mean by I will take you death because if he meant death by that expression then Isa will be like other believers as Allah take their soul and raise them up to heaven there's no uh, uh, you know like mention of that and then he said and also Allah saying and declare for you of the fraud statement that Isa Jesus uh, Allah son what this had to do with the topic it was it was that his soul departed away from his body then his body would have remained on the earth like all other prophets so Jesus did not go through this okay in other verse Allah says and this is a chapter uh, which one he is reading but they killed him not yet the crucifixion of Jesus okay uh, all right and then he continued that's mean that both his body and soul were raised up to heaven it's confirmed in the Sahih that he was descended with his body and soul because Allah meant that Isa died what he would have said that they did not kill him and they did not crucify him but he died so he did not say that okay that is why some ummah uh, umma said and raise you mean I take you up ie with body and soul in Arabic tawaffat tawaffu ie I received the moment in full istawfat means the same thing the word tawaffa does not necessarily refer to taking the body or the soul not necessarily the word to offer in Arabic it means death as simple as that however all of this give us no answer because all of this is the evidence the evidence the evidence is evidence of one person speaking and there's no evidence and let us say for the sake of argument Jesus was not crucified and he was not killed this is additional reason for the Christian to believe that is God think about it if I say to you that Jesus is just a prophet and the proof he's alive in Islam by the way there is no other person is alive in Islam like the Bible you know, referred to many people who that even resurrected with Jesus himself during the resurrection from the tomb but in Islam, there's only one person is alive in heaven with Allah. Only one. A person who is born, he never die. That is Jesus. So now you are trying to convince me in this article that Jesus did not die. But is that will confirm to me that Jesus is a prophet? Or that will confirm to me that Jesus must be God? I remember once <clears throat> uh, I was with two Egyptian one of them is an idiot the other one is smarter so he wanted like when they see someone as a Christian right away they start harassing him so he said to me you know I don't I don't think so that you know I don't know how you believe that Jesus is son of God I said why and the other guy he said like he start hitting in, in his shoe and saying to him don't go there don't go there and he said guys let us change the topic I said no no I think it's okay he said to him don't go there the guy he insists so he said because if Jesus is the son of God there is no way that his father would let him be humiliated 
and he was expecting me to be muted like whoa I mean ah that's amazing if Jesus is the Son of God there's no way that Jesus father he will let his son the Almighty God saying his son will be humiliated in the cross there's no way I said to him well if this is the reason for you to believe that Jesus is God that his father will not let him humiliated that means Jesus in Islam is God he said what he said you just told me that if Jesus is the son of God then his father father should save him he said yeah he said well in Islam he saved him so he is the son of God <laughs> The stupidity of the Abdul is amazing. And then the other guy next to me, the, the, the other Egyptian guy, he said to him, see, I told you, shut up. I told you, don't go there. I told you, not with this guy. I spoke to him before. Don't go there. I told you, you don't listen. Okay, now answer him. Go, answer him. The guy, he's, he said, no, no, I don't mean. I said, what do you mean? You are the one who said to me, if Jesus is a son of God, there's no way his father will let him be humiliated. Well, according to your book, this is what happened. That's mean he is son of God. Muslims are like a lousy soup. You know, there's a soup. You keep adding water, adding water, adding water to it, and then it loses the taste. And then the only taste is left is a taste of stupidity. You don't call it soup. It's not a soup. They don't use their brain. They have a lack of intellect and intelligence. And yet they call us the stupid one. The Quran, as an example, says how Jesus can be God and his mother, because the Quran is saying that Mary is God too. But they used to go and eat. Ah, so if somebody eat, he cannot be God. Hmm. Why? The Muslim they say, if you eat, you go to the bathroom. Uh huh. Okay. So if you don't go to the bathroom, you are God. Well, yeah. Obviously, that's what it meant. But aren't you Muslim believe that in the heaven of Allah, you will be eating shish kebab twenty four seven hours seven uh, days a week for eternity, but you will never do poo or piss? Does that mean you are God? How you are eating for eternity, food is entering from one direction, but nothing come out. You must be God then. I'm not going to question this is stupid statement about eating and not to do poo poo. Muhammad, you have to explain to us how you eat always. But you never have poo poo. And how you drink, and you have rivers of milk and wine, but you will never piss. Maybe the dirt of the Muslims in the heaven will come from their nose as boogers. We don't know. It's a booger nation. But as you see, the Muslims are a nation of all it was also said they have nothing to confirm to you for they know nothing and when you get them busted with a challenge they run away as an example this guy Shabir Ali he have an article like this one here speaking about the word Ar Rahman, a miracle, guys. This is a Shabir Ali. Do you do you want to laugh? Do you want us to show you how we can get Shabir? Do you want to see why Shabir Ali he ran away from me this potato? Do you want to see why? Doctor Shabir Ali uh, hardly needed an introduction, really. Yeah, he's a, he is the he is the he is the village idiot, and I will show you in a second. 
He hold PhD in Quranic exegesis. What uh, teaches? He have a PhD in Quranic. He don't know even how to read the Quran. And then the Quran as a mathematical miracle. Okay, let us see. This is what uh, Shabir Ali. They learned this from Shabir Ali. The word uh, "rajul" is mentioned in the Quran twenty-four time. Rajul mean man. And the word women in the Quran mentioned 24 times. Are you sure? Uh, Shabir Ali, are you sure? By the way, this is not all that this is not his study. Shabir Ali is a copy-paste bacteria. You know the bacteria? It's a copy-paste. This guy is the same as a bacteria who copy-paste. He is a stupid. I remember once, uh, what his name? Uh, David Wood, he was answering him. He said to him, You are copying from Google. You are copying from Google, you idiot. Did you count yourself how many times the word Rajul is in the Quran? Let me get you busted. If we go back to the article, read with me carefully. Al Rajul, which means there is L, but I will take it as with, with the with the whole word or with the Al Rajul. The word man. Actually, you can do yourself search, but let us do it in Arabic because they are talking about the Arabic. Okay, I will type the word Al Rajul as it is in Arabic. Let me go up. And I will give it all the ex all the uh, search ex like uh, options from exact to all words to any words. Let us start with exact. Never exist. They said it is twenty four time al rajul. Let us change the word search search to any word, which means any option connect with it. What is that? Abdul, are you there? Let me read again. Maybe I got the word wrong. The word for man is a rajul. The word for the women is imra. You know what? Let me change. I'm going to do this. Let us close this one. Close this one. Go here. I will make it Rajul. All right. The word Rajul appear 41 time. Let us make it exact. 13 time. So why you are lying saying that the word appear 24 time? The word women. Let us do this first before we move away from the word men. Let us do men in English. Exact. Let us make the word man because this is what he meant, supposedly man, Rajul. Okay. Let us move it. Oh, sorry, it's in Arabic. Let us move to Yusuf Ali. The word man, exact. It appear 335 time. Let us see the word women. It appeared 26 time in 23 verses. 26 time in 23 verses. So all the numbers never match. If we go here, uh, You will find that even that this is a translation is not correct because here is speaking about al untha, not it's not that's not the word al mara. Let us go to a different verse. Okay, a slave woman. Let us see the slave woman, Arabic. Here, there is no woman. This is the word mu'mina, a believing female. First translate first, uh, you know, uh, search count. Behold the women of Amran. Okay, this is the one actually. It says the word Imra. Let us see it. Okay. And by the way, it's written wrongly. It's written wrongly in Arabic. But I'm going to copy the word as it is 
and I will post it in the Quran. This is the word Imra. Written wrongly in the Quran, for Allah is an idiot. Arabic. Once. Let us see how many times. Six verses. Six verses, not a twenty-four. All the numbers exist here is false. The word shaitan, the word Satan, let us see. It's okar. The word angel is 68 times. The word shaitan is 68 times. Let us see if this is true or not. In front of your eyes. Shaitan. Let us switch to Arabic. I will make it exact. Search in Arabic. Four times. Exact four times. Let us make it any word. 63. So why they say it is 68? Let us go to the word Malaika. The word Malaika is coming as 68 times. Any word exact. Six verses here. If you go here, go back to the article. They say that both of them they come as 68 times. That's false because Shaitan does not come. You can go right now and search again in English. Search in English for the way Satan. Okay, let's change to our English. Satan. Bingo, search, 40 times. But you know, the English one is not really the accurate one. We go by the Arabic because uh, sometimes they translate the meaning of not exactly the word, you know. So it doesn't match neither in Arabic, neither in English. Shaitan, again, for those who are blind, To the word shaitan and everyone anyone who speak Arabic you see in the screen this is shaitan search four verses exact any word 63 so how it became 68 let us search for the word shayateen which mean many satans okay Many that will make it alone this word 17 time. Let us make it exact one verse. So still doesn't count. Fabricated numbers. Let us go to the one after. Until now, not even one single of them was true. The word dunya, which means the you know the, this life, uh and the word next life, Akhira, occur 115. Is that true? Let us do that. Dunya. Uh, let me type the word dunya. Dunya. Exact. Never exist. Any word. 111 time. Let us, let us look again at the, at the numbers. Here it says, the word dunya is 115 time. Correct? 115 time. The word dunya and the word al-akhira. So a dunya appear 111. Okay, let us do this. I'm going to write, type now the word al-akhira. So the first one, dunya, did not come. Accurate, it was 111. Let us see al-akhira. Okay. Let us do this. Al Akhira is 110 time. This is any word. So a dunya did not match. Al Akhira did not match. And all the numbers they give us is a lie. I mean, not even single one of them match the number in the article. 
not even one as you see here you see this is this is any word which mean there's no way any keys this is a search engine you know will not miss anything anything the word can come with it is going to show up let us make it akhira not al akhira but remember in 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 there in there huh? here it says akhira so i'm going to go by akhira not al akhira let us see i'm going to take it off and make it akhira <coughs> All right. Where is the fatha? Okay, here we go. One hundred thirteen time. Let us make it exact. Not exist. Not even once. In their website, it says Akhira. As it is, as I wrote it. Not even once. If we make it any word, then we will get any word. Any word is the maximum. So there's no 115, as they said. It's a lie again. So both words are again false. Let us continue. The word shahar occur 12 times. Let us see if this is true or not. Shahar. Okay. This is the word shahar. 17 time let's make it exact two time <laughs> let us make it let us make it huh? uh, actually let me show you an additional thing uh, there's a word Oops, hold on. Muslims are stupid, really. They do not know even what the Quran is. Yeah, this one I need to. Ahilla. <sighs> Lord, <clears throat> Muslims, join us, join us. Call me if you have a question. In the Quran, not only the word Qamar is coming I mean, not 12 times as you claim, there's the word Qamar appear more than once because you do not know what the word Qamar mean. The word Qamar is mentioned in the Quran only, you know, uh, 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 not only as the word Qamar, which means the moon, it's mentioned as the word Al-Ahilla. Al-Ahilla, read with me. This is chapter 2, verse number 189. Yosef Ali translation. They ask thee concerning the new moon. The Muslims, they never count this word too. Why? Because they are stupid. They do not know that this word means moon too. So the word moon, if you are counting how many times the word moon appear in the Quran, not only it's not a 12, it's a false number, you say it and you give to us, but yet you are not counting all the words because this word means the moon too, Al-Ahilla, which is when the new moon comes, the crescent moon. The start of the moon. Ignorant. And as you see, Al Qamar as a word exactly it appear only three times only if I make it any word 25 times why you said it's 12 why you Muslim lie and you say it appear 12 times oh, sorry the, the word shahar shahar uh, this is the word shahar. Okay, hold on. Where is the word qamar? I forgot the word qamar. It's not here. Yeah, I was looking for the wrong word. Hold on. Let me look for the word uh, shahar. Sorry, not qamar. It's my mistake. I carried on with the the rest of the article. 
شهر شهر رمضان they said it appear as 12 it is 17 any word 17 exact to all words 17 not a single thing was coming accurate the word of two months shahrain shahrain occur 30 times are you sure let us see okay so now now what does that mean if the word two months mean uh, occur 30 times what does that mean stupid i mean what is that okay but let's see if this is true so the word shahrain occur 30 times let's say 30 or 32 hold on 30 times yeah let us see shahrain shahrain it occur only twice only twice there's a huge difference between 30 time and twice let us make any word twice any Muslim is listening and watching he see anything written in Arabic in the front of you on the screen is not exactly what they say in this in the in the article did they say here the word Shahrain? Let us change it, make it Shahran, because the Quran is a stupid book. Sometimes it might be say Shahran. Okay. We take the yeah, we make it Alif. Never exist. <laughs> Abdul. You are you are deeply um I don't know like you you are you are just digging in the ground to bury yourself this is the most stupid amazing miracle ever I saw in my life let me show you something the word day appear in the Quran 365 what is the word day in Arabic yawm by the way I challenge any Muslim to show me and to call me and say I'm not typing the word correctly in Arabic the word yawm let us see yeah this is the word you know. is it really 365 time search I will search exact first 211 time the word exact yom which mean they you can translate right away okay Yusuf Ali the day of judgment all right the day this is the word they are talking about they said it's located in the Quran 365 time let us make it any word 415 time why you Muslims lie what's wrong with you aren't you ashamed aren't you don't you feel you feel this is embarrassing this is uh, Shabir Ali, did, did Shabir Ali himself did search? Let us make a challenge for Shabir Ali. Can Shabir Ali show us in an article which verses the word Ar Rajul is exist in the Quran 24 times? I mean, this is simple. What do you think, guys? Can he show us like verse number, etc., verse, etc., verse, etc., 24 times? Can he show us the word women appear in the Quran 24 times and show us the reference with it? challenge can he show us the word shayateen or shaitan appear 68 time and says to us which verses and the word angel appear 68 time and what is the verses or shabir ali never 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 numbers those he just copy paste from the internet from a guy his name last name is al-kahil shabir ali is the same as a bacteria as i said they are copy paste he's a liar he's a fake he never search and study those numbers and actually I challenge him anytime to make a video and show us in the screen I would like to see Shabir Ali open his computer and says okay you know what a, a word a rajul I'm going to show it to you Christian Prince in the screen I'm going to expose you I'm going to show everybody that you are a liar here we go this is the word rajul bingo huh oops it's 41 time it's not 
24 times. <laughs> Let us make it exact. This way there's no way a mistake will happen. Exact. 13 times. Let us make it a rajul, which means the man. Huh. Just, you know, you never know. Never exist. Liars. Liars and fake. This is why I say never ever trust Abdul. They are officially certified liars. If any Muslim want to call, I am now active in Skype. Feel free to call me. If any Muslim want to get me busted with the numbers I showed in the screen, who is the Muslim live open challenge? Want to call me right now and show everybody that this guy is not doing it right? Who want to do that? Liars. This is this guy. This is why this guy, Shabir Ali, he will never even get close to me. You see, there's one thing the Muslims they fear in a person when it's come to Islam. It is someone who speaks Arabic. That's very important. Because if you don't speak Arabic, they can fool you. Like now, the word Arajul mean man or the man. Okay, let us the word put the word man in English. If you say to him man in English, it doesn't appear exactly the number you say. Yeah, he says because many verses they mean the word man, but it's not the word man does not exist. Okay, this is why the number is wrong. But we are using Arabic now. We are not using the English. He can use that excuse, you know. He can say, but even if we search for the word man exactly in English, we will find it's located as two hundred thirty-five times. If we search any word, here we go, 656 times. That is Islam, my friend. It is a religion of deception and false miracles. They could not find miracles done by their prophet to start for, you know, for it's a fornication. You know, Islam is a fornication. Islam is a fornication. Muslims, they fornicate with their tongue, they fornicate with their eyes, they fornicate with their brain. They are fornicators. The difference between real fornication and Islam, Muslims, they fornicate within themselves and they themselves get a bread net with false miracles. The same as the devil, according to Muhammad and his scholars, that shaitan, he have the first shaitan, he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. So he wanna have sex with himself he if this with that by shaking his legs. Islam is an official stupid religion, and this is why we don't see any Muslim calling me right now. Who is the brave Muslim when I get me busted? Who of you, Abdul? I am the Christian prince. I am the servant of my Lord, the Messiah, the Savior, the Lord, the King of the Kings. Challenging you all of you together, accusing you to be a bunch of liars, thieves, and fornicators. Who of you dare to call me and get me busted? Cowards. The Muslims, they want to debate me only about if the Trinity, because they don't want to talk about Islam. They want to talk about Jesus as being God or not. We don't want to talk about it. This is the whole point. Don't, don't ask us about Islam. Islam is a stupid religion. We can't answer you, but we can play games with you. Let us play the game. Trinity, Trinity. Even the Trinity, I can prove it to you from your Quran, you idiot. Actually, the Quran is a book approving the Trinity. Everything in Islam is based on the Trinity. Islam is a religion of the Trinity. But how you can show the Muslim, the, 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 the crazy, the, the ones who is high with the drugs? Every verse in the Quran start with the Trinity. 
every almost single chapter in the Quran. If we open the Quran right now from verse number one, chapter number one, it says, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. What is that? Bism, which is written by the way wrong because the word Bism is not written this way. The word Bism in Arabic should be written this way. B. I'm using my mouse, so. This is BSM, which means in the Quran, the letter A is missing. Stupid writer of the Quran. If you write the word Bism here in an exam, you will get zero. And just because the Quran wrote it this way, oh, you can read it, it's, uh, it's wrong, the Quran is wrong, but you know, Quran knows better, yeah. So now this word, the first word, have nothing to do with the three we're talking about. It's just a word mean in the name. Okay, X. The first word is X. What is left? Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Three names. Why Allah started with the three if he is one? Any Muslim can tell us? This is the God of one, but yet he confirmed himself in three names. He present himself in three names. He sell himself out to us in three names. It's like coming to me to my house and you want to tell me about Allah, but you gave me three brochures to understand Allah. Well, you cannot give me one. Huh? Why you have to explain to me Allah in three Trinity words? Any Abdul? Didn't know. The Muslims, when he do evolution, do you know what he do? Just to show you, get the Abdul busted. This is the religion of the Trinity. They, they say to you, you are the one who believe in the Trinity, but the fact they are the one who practice it, everything in this cult is about the Trinity. Let me show you the evolution. Hold on, let me search for it on Google. How to do okay? Look with me, please. To do evolution, to do evolution, this is the Muslim website, okay, with the pictures about how to do it. The first thing, make Nia. What Nia is like to prepare yourself, you want to pray, all right, and then what you do, all right, what you will do after that. Step number two, use your left hand to wash your right hand. That's amazing. Do this a three times, like what the heck? Why you have to do it a three times? What about four? What about five? No, three times. If you don't do it three times, your prayer is not accepted. Why? Is God is one? Are you doing evolution in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Why three times? And then after that, you use your right hand to wash your left hand three times. Like what the heck? Again? <laughs> Let us keep going. Then take water into your mouth. Use your right hand to cup water into your mouth three times. Like what the heck? Again? Again? What about four time? Why three time? Any Abdul? So who is the people of the Trinity? Look like without the Trinity, your prayer is not holy and your prayer is not pure. What is evolution is about? It's about you being pure in front of God. So to be purified in the front of God, you have to be a Trinitarian person Practicing everything based on the Trinity. Otherwise, you are not purified. Who is going to purify you? What the Trinity? What is the Trinity doing to you? When you wash your hand first time, 
is not enough second time is not enough why the third is to make it perfect do we have any Abdul here let us continue maybe it's over maybe let us see inhale water in your nose this is one of the most stupid things in Islam how in the world you can inhale no water in your nose try it try it and see how stupid you is it is inhale water in your nose use your right hand to cup water and inhale in your nose at three time even water in the nose at three time And supposedly the Trinity is not exist. Are you sure? Who is the one who believe in the Trinity? Are we done here? No. Is the Trinity is over? No. Wash your face three times. Like what? My name is Abdul. I like to eat fool. I wash my nose three times and my ass three times and my ear three times and my mouth three times and my hand three times and my feet three times and my bones three times and I say Allah Akbar three times. I say Assalamu Alaikum three times. I divorce my wife three times. I fast for three days. I am Abdul. I am obsessed with number three. Any Muslim want to explain to us? And you are saying to the Christians, eternity is wrong? By the way, I have a copyright over the song I just made, okay? Just don't take it and make it a symphony or something, or give it to, uh, you know, like those uh, guys who tried to copy me, like, uh, you know, Shakespeare or, please. You never know. If Muhammad heard me saying this, he will make it a verse in the Quran. Any Abdul? We have a guy in the text. His name is Elias. Elias, why you don't call me? You are a Muslim, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Maybe Allah, he sent you to us to save us. We have a Muslim, Abdul. Uh, by the way, we can change the topic for you. Don't worry. You know, we are very flexible. You know, I am like Muhammad, very flexible. Any any Muslim woman, she can give her vagina to me to bing bing in the name of Allah. Very flexible. So what do you think? Do you like to call us? Do you know that Muhammad, when he enter a house, he say, Assalamu Alaikum three times? Like, isn't it enough once? Do you know when the Muslims, they pray, they, they, they start the prayer and say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, three times. Why three times? Is your God, Allah, is deaf? Isn't it enough to do it once? Who is a Abdul here? He want to win the lotto. Because my friend, if you call me, Allah, he promised you, or let us say I promise you, that Allah will increase the size of your penis a three time. What do you want more? You cannot do it for, it's dangerous. Even Muhammad, he said, when you enter the bathroom, you have to shake your penis three time. I mean, why you don't shake it four time? Oh no, we are Muslim brother. If we shake it four time, it's going to fall apart. Let us ask Zach and Naik and see what he will say. Brother Zach and Naik, why a Muslim man, he have to shake his penis three times when he entered the bathroom? Brother Sitter, first of all, this kind of question come from a guy, you can find him in the internet. His name the Arabian prophet, Aka Christian Prince. Those questions is meant exactly 
to make Islam look stupid and look like it's a full of religion. However, my friend, don't listen to the guy because Allah knows best why he taught us to take our penis three times. Me as an example, when I go to the bathroom, I take my penis three times. Let me show you how I do it. Yes, please look here. Please, women, close your eyes. You, you know what? Keep your eyes open because you will see nothing because it's so small. What the heck? This is a religion? A prophet is telling me I have to shake my penis a three times? That's astonishing. It's beyond, beyond your understanding. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Zach and Naik, sister of Zach and Naik. I don't care who is going to call me. Huh? How you call me in Skype? It's very easy. Add my name. I mean, is it? Uh, do you want me to make a verse for you about it? Do this, my friend. Find my name in Skype, Debate TV, and then dial this number, Debate TV, and then click at call, and then talk. However, if that is not enough for you to understand how to do it, you can watch videos in YouTube about how to call someone in Skype. Or we can ask Allah to make a chapter about Skype. Skype, and what do you know about this Skype? It's made by Allah. I'm sure if Muhammad ever heard about Skype, he will make a story about it. What Muhammad will do if in his time there's a Facebook? Muhammad will turn it to an ass book. You name it. Yeah, we can make Quran about uh, about Skype. You know, but Muhammad, anything around him, there's a Quran about it. Anything, anything, with no exception. So where is the guy who wanna call me? Are we out of customers today? Seriously, I'm, are we? Out? By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Three time. If you don't subscribe to my channel three time, Allah will curse you. I know a guy, he's from Saudi Arabia. He subscribed to my channel once. And guess what happened to him? You will not believe it. I told him, subscribe three times. He did not listen. He woke up in the morning, he found himself still subscribing to my channel. Because if you subscribe three times, just to teach you Muslims, what does that mean? You subscribe. And then you do it again. That mean will make you unsubscribe. Then you do it again. You find yourself subscribe. So what the point? The point is you subscribe. Hello. But you have to do it three times. Otherwise, Allah will not approve it. Hello. Any Abdul? You know, if, if 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 a Muslim he get married, should he have sex with her three times, each time, or four? I think four is haram. I think it have to be three times, because Allah he, he don't he don't approve four times, five times, six times. It, it have to be three times. Hmm. Forget about this guy. This guy, he have no idea what he's talking about. 99.9999999999 Muslims do not know even how to subscribe. Copy paste nation. Bismillah al-lahimain al-lahim. Who are what? Lahim lahim. Okay, what al-lahim mean? Lahim mean the lahim lahim. So who? Why? How in the world Allah He's saying Bismillah? I mean, this this is alone is a disaster. Have you ever heard of God saying in the name of Allah? 
if the one is talking is Allah, how he say in the name of Allah? Any Muslim can tell me. Who is the stupid here? Allah is talking, but yet he say in the name of Allah. Okay, I will do the same. I hope the Muslim will not say Christian Prince is going crazy. In the name of Christian Prince. Uh, in the name of the Christian Prince, the most gracious, the most merciful. But, but, but you are a Christian Prince. So what? I like always to present myself in the name of Christian Prince. This is correct. Okay. Didn't you hear Obama when he said in the name of Obama? He said that he did. I never heard him saying that. Uh, he don't say it in public. Hello, in the front of Michelle Obama, you know, he said that I am I am Obama in the name of Obama. So like uh, Michelle Obama, she will not do something bad to him. Trump, Trump, he always he say in the name of Trump. Very popular. It's a very popular, you know, to use. You are a person speaking, yet you say in the name of Allah. Yeah. Imagine. <sighs> Did I say imagine? I, I, I take it back because if we go to the word imagine, we will go crazy. This man, Muhammad, nobody can imagine as much as him. Imagine. <clears throat> Let me show you something here. Uh, okay. We found it. So now you do not need to imagine because we found it. All right. We told you before that the salamander is the enemy of Allah, right? I mean, I think we mentioned that to you before. Imagine salamander, you know, thanks God, salamander is not a Muslim. This is the enemy of Allah. Imagine Mr. Salamander, who is a Muslim, he come to you every day and he said to you, Assalamu Alaikum, three times, three times, three times. Imagine Mrs. Snake, for she is a Muslim too. She bites you three times. Imagine a dog, he's a Muslim, he have to bite you three times. Imagine your wife, she asked for your salary, Three time. I mean, that's something. Do we have any salamander here in the bushes? This is the only religion who considers salamander the enemy of God. And the prophet he ordered, he put a contract in his head. He's wanted. Salamander, don't you see he's hiding? Look at him, look at him. Look seriously, look at him. The poor guy, he is not safe. Especially in Islamic countries. So when he go like he's look around like whoa, yeah, left right left right because Allah and the Prophet They order the Muslims to do holy war jihad against Salamander Why now Isis are leaving Syria anyone knows why? Because they heard the news that Salamander is appearing in Africa So they decide to go to Africa not because they run away from the American army or the Russian army no But they are chasing Salamander This is how silly, stupid this religion is. Do we have any salamander here? And you know, guys, you know the story of the salamander, right? According to Muhammad, salamander, he tried to kill the prophet of Allah, Abraham. And by the way, this is a true story. And there is many proof of it. Even scientists prove it. Me, myself, once I saw a salamander in Arizona. He was burning the whole city. He opened his mouth and the fire came out. True story. Don't don't think salamander are peaceful animals. They are scary and they are like big like crazy. 
Mm. Who can deny the story of the salamander? You must be crazy to do so. Will he debate? I would debate him for many time, even if he was in the disposal machine. Who care? And Jamshabad recovered. They offer him to debate me in AB, and he ran away. He want to debate only those who don't speak Arabic. And he made a mistake actually. Once he said to himself, he want to debate uh, what his name, Osama, brother Osama. Osama made him shish kebab. Osama duck dog. I have a bad reputation. Every end, they could not find me anyone to debate me. You know, each time they offer somebody to debate me, if he do not know about me, in the beginning he accept, then he go on YouTube, he search for five minutes, then he send ABM email back. He says, "I'm busy." Like Shabir Ali is exactly the same as an example. He accept to debate me. We set up the debate time. Then he send an email back to ABN, and you can call ABN. Actually, I made a video about it. He sent an email back to Abi and saying to them he is busy with his PhD. And since then, Shabir Ali is busy. I mean, there's no time. Life is busy. Yeah. Do we have any Abdul? Don't forget, please, to subscribe. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. So tomorrow you get the blessing of Allah for subscribing again. Because Islam teach you that the good deeds, they erase the bad deeds. So I rape a woman in the morning, and then I make a donation at night. And that will make me erasing the bad deeds. Logic. I mean, that's logic. Makes sense. What do you want more? The bad deeds will be erased by the good deeds. So we do bad and we do good. We do bad to erase the Okay, amazing. So beautiful. Logic. No. Any Muslim want to do some good deeds with us? How many of you here in the chat is first time? If you are you are first time here, give me one, just to to know who is who is a new here. Guys, don't forget to invite your friends and tell your friends about what we do here, so we will get more and more people listening, and more and more people learning how to debate Muslims. The purpose of this channel is to educate you. It's a free education, free school, and. Uh, me, myself, I speak all languages in the world, except my language. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He is international prophet, but yet his own language do not know how to read, how to write it. I mean, who is the crazy here? Brothers, sisters. Question there? You have a question? Yes? Okay. Brother, Zakir Aik, why the prophet of Allah? He was international prophet. The sister they're asking question, and this is the very legitimate question. What is the proof? I think this is what he meant. What is the proof that our prophet, Prophet Muhammad, was international prophet? The proof of that, our prophet, he slept with all kinds of women. Christian women, Jewish women, pagan women, he sleep with everybody. And if you think about it, there is nothing make the whole universe united as much as sex. As an example, me myself, my wife, she never said to anyone, no. Because simply, she is trying to practice Islam. It's a sexual, universal prophet. Sleep with everybody, make love. But if you go to France, as an example, in France, I don't know if you speak Francais, I speak Francais myself. If you go to France, you will see a man, he said to a woman, mm -hmm make love for you which supports this is a French language so when he said to her Lou make love to you the women they take off her panty and they have sex but this is can be lawful only if you do it according to Islam and that means that the prophet of Islam he made Islam spread to be international and this is the proof that this is the international prophet thank you very much what do you mean I speak French I speak French and the trois catch your hands. I, 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 yeah, I speak French. Last time I was in France, 
you know, when I arrived to London in France, um, I look around me and I asked the first driver there, you know, like, uh, where is, uh, you know, uh, Travelka Square? You know, he took me there right away in Paris. In Paris. If you don't believe me, I can find you the reference in Sayyid Bukhari. Any Abdul? I mean, why London cannot be in France if the Quran states that there is two seas, according to Muslims, two seas, they meet together, and those two, two seas, one of them is the Persian Gulf, and the other one is the Mediterranean. How in the world the geography of Muhammad work? Al Bahrain mean the two seas, which ones which mean the first sea is the per Persian Sea and the other one is the Mediterranean. I never heard of the Mediterranean meet with the Virgin Persian Sea since when? Allah knows best. You forgot that Muhammad said that the Euphrates and the Nile River both are coming from heaven but heaven is in the sky and your fritties are not coming from the same direction of the Nile River they are the opposite one in the south one in the north according to Muhammad both are coming from under a tree one tree <sighs> anyway I think we have enough for today and I see there's no Muslim for the day to call Actually, I wanted this video to be short, but as you know, my short video is endless So I better stop here. Otherwise, we will continue with something else and we will end with more salamanders and more crazy stuff However, my friend don't forget please to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends about what we do and trust me trust me We speak Arabic and because of that we reject Islam Islam is the most stupid filthy cult stupid in teaching stupid in logic stupid in education stupid in science even the Arabic and the Quran is full of mistakes yet they claim it's coming from God if the Quran is made by God well that's mean this God is really screwed and he is no better than little tiny salamander. Actually, salamander can do better. At least he is useful. Thank you very much for watching, my friend. Don't forget, if you want to learn more about Islam, you can get my books from Amazon.com. You can search for Christian Prince. And now we are almost in the final touches with my book. Actually, I decide to call my book the following name should I show you should I show you the cover yeah, should I show you the cover or leave it surprise I leave it surprise because I need to make a Quran about it you know um, so it's going to be about the, the, the book six and Allah I think this is the best name to come with It's short it's easy and give the the straight uh, direct meaning of the two volumes of the two books which is going to be published very soon the first one already done the second one we are doing proofreading and I hope very soon we will have them both out for you to read until then I say may the Lord bless you and if you want to read my books which is already exist in Amazon you can search my name Christian Prince and you will find whatever you are looking for about the stupidity and the madness of the cult it's called Islam with the love of Christ I say see you tomorrow I hope so if not tomorrow day after but mostly I will open and until then I say Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye